Good morning, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Our reading for this morning is from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. While the crowd was pressing in on Jesus and listening to the word of God, he was standing by the lake of Genesaret. He saw two boats there alongside the lake. The fishermen had disembarked and were washing their nets. Getting into one of the boats, the one belonging to Simon, he said to him, put out a short distance from the shore. And he sat down and taught the crowds from the boat. After Jesus had finished speaking, he said to Simon, put out into the deep water and lower your nets for a catch. And Simon said in reply, Master, we have worked hard all night and have caught nothing. But at your command, I will lower the nets. When they had done this, they caught a great number of fish and their nets were tearing. They signaled to their partners in the other boat to come and help them. They came and filled with the other boats so that the boats were in danger of sinking. When Simon Peter saw this, he fell to his knees and he said, depart from me, Lord, for I am a sinful man. For astonishment at the catch of fish they had made seized him and all those with him. And likewise, James and John and the sons of Zebedee who were partners of Simon. Jesus then said to Simon, do not be afraid from now on, you will be catching men. And then they brought their boats to the shore and left everything and followed him. My brothers and sisters, the gospel of the Lord. At first glance, it might be odd what Peter says there, Lord, depart from me for I am a sinful man because the Lord was calling him to follow him as a disciple. With Peter's first reaction was, fear. And after many years of praying with that passage, I, I can kind of understand this now, especially reflecting on my own call to the priesthood. I can remember when I first began to feel like I had a vocation to the priesthood. Sometimes my thought was anything but that, Lord, anything, just uh, not me. Let someone else do it. Because I you know, had my, my life and my, my friends and everything was going along pretty smoothly. And Depart from me, Lord, for I am a sinful man. Uh, I like the way things are right now. I like the way things are going. So pick someone else. It's very common in this life of discipleship for that to be our first reaction. And we have to be careful uh, to think about and discern where is that reaction coming from? A lot of times it comes from this idea that, that it's about me and it's about doing things on my own. I can do it myself. For example, the idea of priesthood. Not me, there's no way I could be a priest. Well, actually, it's not just you, but it's Christ working through you. There's no way that I could be a Eucharistic minister in my church. Choose someone else. Well, at first it might be a little awkward, might be uh, challenging, but remember that it's Christ at work in you. No matter what you do in this life with Christ, the most important thing is to surrender in order that Christ may work through you. So when we look at what Peter says in this verse, I think that's what's happening. He doesn't realize yet, Peter, it's not about you. It's not about what you can do or whether or not you're even a sinful man. It's about surrendering to Christ and letting Christ work through you in order that you can accomplish something for the kingdom of God. And when Peter does go uh, with Christ, he says, I will make you uh, fisher of men and that that symbol of the tearing net is the overabundant mercy and love of God that works through each disciple and orders them to accomplish what Christ has set before them. It's never about us. It's always about Christ. So think about all the things that are before you today and the call that is upon your life from Christ. And don't think that you have to do it all on your own. When things get too tough, it's always important to turn to Christ and say, Lord, you know what? I can't do this on my own, it's too much. The cross is too heavy for me right now. Can you carry that cross for me? And what we find is Christ already reaching out to you as the words are leaving your lips in the midst of difficulty when you're asking for help. He's right there beside you, ready to 
take that heavy cross off your shoulders and he'll carry it for you for a while. It's not just you. It's about him working through you. So if you're struggling with various aspects of this COVID virus, unemployment, having to deal with family, having to rearrange your life. We just had a hurricane uh, come through last night. Thankfully, it was not really that serious. It was only a category one or less. Um, but perhaps you're trying to sort of put things back in order now. Whatever it might be, don't despair. Don't say, depart from me, Lord, for I'm too sinful or I'm too overwhelmed. But rather surrender to him and say, Today, Lord, I'm going to let you carry the heavy cross. I'm going to let you work through me. I'm not alone, but I'm working with you, and I know that you are working through me. May God bless you. May God keep you. I know that I'm praying for all of you who pray for us, and together we come through the other side of all these various crises uh, that we're in, and, and we do so in the name of Jesus. Amen.